I will show who is the boss here. You know, like he 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 could say everything what he wants, you know, but say and and do is the two different uh, things, you know. He will pay for everything what he posted, what what, what he said, you know. Just a, he's just a kid. He's a, not lion. He's a little kitten. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world. It's showtime! Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing man. What's good, fam? Hey, listen, man. First off, I want to welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new here, I want you to be here. So think about hitting that subscribe button as we stay knee deep into these boxing conversations, man. Hey, listen, man. Sergey Kovalev, he will be defending his WBO light heavyweight title this Saturday out there in Russia against Anthony Yard. The young bull coming up, man. Um, many are wondering if if Anthony Yard is ready for this challenge, man. Um, I'm one of I'm one of those people who you know I, I want to look at the whole picture. I want to try to be objective. Um, I, I, I took a look at Anthony Yard's resume. Uh, he's 18 and 0 with 17 KOs, but. Um, as I look at that resume, man, there's no name on the resume that's familiar. You know, understand what I'm saying? Um, uh, Anthony Yard has never faced an undefeated fighter. Um, his 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 opponent's record is something crazy. His opponent's record is 231 wins against 169 losses you understand what i'm saying yard has not uh you know he has not tested himself you know he has not tested himself um the great andre ward uh he spoke about this man he spoke about this in a recent interview and this is what he had to say check it out but that that Kovalev fight is gonna be harder than what they realize you know at the highest level, it don't matter how good you do mid work, it don't matter how big your muscles are, you gonna have to show that you can fight. You gonna have to show that you can take it, show that you can dish it out, show you got the conditioning, show you got the IQ. Your team, your coaches, they gotta show that they can perform under pressure too, because they gonna be under pressure, and it's gonna be in Russia from what I heard. Is it, did I hear that right? Yes, that's correct. There'll yeah. be a lot of pressure, man. So I see Kovalev winning and maybe stopping. Now, I'm gonna have to agree with Andre Ward, man. You cannot go from fighting, you know, C, D level guys to, you know, to the cream of the crop. You know, understand what I'm saying? Now, Sergey Kovalev is 36 years old. He is on the downside of his career. But like they always say, the last thing to go is your power. We all know that Sergey Kovalev, he has tremendous, tremendous power. He's he was he was crushing guys for years, man. You understand what I'm saying? Um uh, you know, sadly to say, Sergey Kovalev has got a body inside the ring. Someone has died as a result of fighting Sergey Kovalev. This fight is no joke. Sergey Kovalev is no joke. Um, Sergey Kovalev looks at Anthony Yard. You heard at the beginning of the video, he's calling him a little kitten. He said that the, the, the kid is a kid. You understand what I'm saying? So Sergey Kovalev doesn't think he's ready either, man. And me looking at Anthony Yard, looking at his fights, you know, he looks good. You know, he looks good, but looking good against who? You know, looking get good against who? He has not been tested. And um, there is not, nothing that Anthony Yard's done leads me to believe that he will be victorious um, come this Saturday night, man. Now, I know him and his team. Um, what's his, his uh, trainer and manager? Um, Tunjay Ajaya, something like that. They are extremely confident, man. He's been, um, you know, he's been quoted as saying that uh, Anthony Yard was better than Andre Ward. You understand what I'm saying? He's saying things like this, man. Um, they, they, they must know something that we don't know. You know, they must know something that we don't know, man. Because when I look at the pair of them, you know, they're always smiling and upbeat. Like, you know, they are just so sure of themselves. Now, I don't know if that's overconfidence or is, or are they just happy to be getting this um, reported $5 million payday. 
You understand what I'm saying? I don't know if they just, you know, know something that we don't know. Like, you know, he really believes that he's going to go in there and and uh, spark out Sergey Kovalev. Or, you know, he's just happy to to be able to, to get this this payday at, you know, such a early, early stage in his career. The, the kid got 18 fights, 17 knockouts. You know, he's 28 years old. You understand what I'm saying? So this is by far... You know, you probably can add all his purses up together and multiply it by two or three, and he has not received five million dollars, man. So, you know, he hit the lottery. So, is that the the reason why they're smiling and and talking so confident, or do um, Ajaya and uh, Yard really think they can beat Sergey Kovalev, man? Um, it's going to be an interesting matchup, man. And let me tell you, man, I'm not counting the youngster out, but, you know, just from me looking at it, I don't see anything that, that leads me to believe that Anthony York can beat Sergey Kovalev, man. Um, now, you know, uh, Sergey Kovalev is, what, 30, 33, and 3. Um, he lost twice to, to Ward and, and once to a later Alvarez where he went back and avenged that loss you know the first fight with Lo with ward was a controversial fight you know a lot some people thought kovalev won you know regardless uh uh ward got the victory man but you know he was stopped he was stopped in the uh second fight you know um he just wasn't mentally there he didn't want to be there um, and that's the knock on Sergey Kovalev. Sometimes, you know, in fights where, you know, he's challenged, you know, so it's, it's like when the bully gets get, gets gets challenged for the first time, you know, he don't know what to do, and uh, he he mentally breaks down, man. And and um, in an in Andre War fight, that that's what it looked like happened to me, man. It seemed like when when he realized that Andre Ward wasn't going nowhere, that Andre Ward was was right up in the thick of things, and you know wanted to go mano y mano, man against man. Um, you know he started to break down mentally, man, and have mental laps, man. Um, uh, same thing with uh, later Alvarez, man. Later Alvarez, you know he beat the brakes off of Sergey Kovalev, man. Um, he came to fight that night, but you know I do have to uh, admit that. The last time we seen Sergey Kovalev, you know, against a later Alvarez, he looked very good. He boxed very, very well under the tutelage of um, Buddy McGirt, man. You know, he has had, you know, ample time to, to you know, really train. That was the first, the first fight with McGirt. This will be the second fight, but he's had months and months to prepare, months and months to get in sync with Buddy McGirt, man. And I'm just, you know curious to see patiently waiting to see um you know what mcgirt has 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 taught him and if sergey kovalev will be able to uh stick to the game plan like he was able to do when he recaptured his his um light heavyweight title man i'm looking forward to this fight man i'm gonna be paying close attention to it um you know like i said if yard is able to pull this off i will be overly impressed i will be overly impressed because the guy has not you know uh come up against you know any any anybody even close to sergey kovalev and then they're doing unorthodox training methods um you know he's saying he's doing no sparring for this training camp you know no no sparring i never heard of that before man um, so, you know, he's, he's, he's going, I think he's going to be in for a rude awakening, man. I'm going with Sergey Kovalev, man. I think Sergey Kovalev will end up stopping yard, man, um, by the eighth round. I say this don't go past eight. If it do, I'll be thoroughly impressed. I will, uh, get back on here and commend Anthony Yard. You know, I, I want Anthony Yard to win. I'm rooting for Anthony Yard. I like the kid. I like his personality. Um, I, I like the way he trains. You know, it seems like he works real hard. But, you know, me being objective, me just looking at this thing, um, you know, from a, from, a, from a boxing fan standpoint, there's nothing that uh, leads me to believe that he can go in there and beat Sergey Kovalev. But we will see. We will see. We're only a couple days away uh, to the fight. The fight is this Saturday. It's in Kovalev's hometown. You know what I'm saying? I think this is his first fight in his hometown in years, man. You know? Um, 
but hey man i appreciate y'all tuning in like i said if you have not subscribed to the channel don't leave out of here without hitting that subscribe button also you can catch me on all social media platforms uh twitter instagram at big faces worldwide all one word um if you have not subscribed right right now to this channel hit that subscribe button man uh hit the bell icon so you can be notified when i'm uploading more videos but in the meantime and in between time stay blessed and keep on supporting this sport that we love called boxing peace i'll holler back